This meeting is being recorded. Hi, this is Anne again with a quick anagram on media queries and what they should look like and how you can know if they're working. So the textbook is a little bit light on this. I thought I would show you what these look like in operation. Um, I have my grid.css. Uh, this is the starter file version. And uh, the very last style rule in it is this copyright color, the background color for the copyright section at the bottom of the page. So that's a handy one um, to use. Your media queries should all be at the bottom of this CSS file because basically you want everything in style.css to apply, everything in this grid.css to apply, except those things that you decide to change for specific smaller file sizes, screen sizes. So each media query section has the rules that are going to apply for that size and anything smaller unless overwritten. <coughs> so specific, specifically, your directions say, in each of the media query sections, change the copyright color. And I even specify which ones. And I want to show you what that looks like. So um, here I have my page. And um, this is at its full width. I'm going to shrink it. And um, there's an interesting zoom problem that zoom doesn't show what happens as I change the size of this window. So what I have to do is change it and then click off it and change on it. So you'll see these as jumps rather than as slides. Um, when you do your own testing, um, they'll look like slides. So here is a small window. The color at the bottom is gold. If I make it larger, there is a point at which that color becomes green. A little bit smaller, it's gold again. I go up a little bit more, eventually it becomes red. Again, tiny bit smaller, it's green. It becomes red again. And then eventually, over 1200 pixels, we get back to the default look of the full width page. And that's how you can tell that your media queries are actually working. There's no use writing these guys, putting a whole lot of rules inside them, and wondering why they're not working when it's easy to test and make sure that they are in fact working. 